we got money, homie. I ain't tripping on petty shit. We do big shit. Nigga, we just did a deal for 100 mil. We got money for real. Ain't no game. We ain't got time for bullshit. We get money, man. We right. go in the studio, that's money. That's like $20 million. When I hit your town, nigga, they pay two fifty just to say they saw us. Just to say you saw me, nigga, 250 stacks. Ain't no game, nigga, them houses. Just to bring you to the essence of where I come from, how we come up, just being in the streets all my life, you know, we lost a lot. I lost and my whole family, and then a bunch of my partners. You know what I mean? I come from the slums with this shit, so any one of these artists, they come from the slums too, so every day of life is an experience because a nigga never lived life like this. We really started with nothing and I blessed niggas. I gave my life to this shit. Yes, Lord have mercy. Get my bag. I'm going to give you another thousand dollars. Yes, it is. Lord have mercy. Yes. You really bless me. Yes. I just stopped at this gas station just to get some water and get a pack of food. I feel like I left some death energy to come to some rich people. It's like some turning point shit in life. You feel me? Just some shit that Cosmo was talking to. I'm right where I'm supposed to be. New Orleans always had a culture. We, we was able to move and do what we do throughout the South. Back in them days, you had to do it from the turf. You had to be in the ghetto with that shit. We in every neighborhood, every project in America, we done been to that motherfucker. So for me and for us, we were just trying to really just get out the ghetto. I was making millions of dollars a month anyway. It was going to be my way or no way, our way or no way, period. And I found the hustle, which was music, and we just stuck with it. Kept it pimping. When Universal approached us, I was already five, six years independent. Mm. And I feel like we had blood on this money already, so mm. I refused to give up anything. Mm. You, know, you know, I was a young man, and that was my mentality that, you know, um, it wasn't about the money. It was about me being able to own my shit. Mm. And I just felt like we lost so much to gain so little. So right. none of that shit even, didn't even matter to me. Our early days, but I was just painting my life. Me just saying, fuck it, this is how I'm living. That was just a fantasy a nigga had as a kid, just mm -hmm. wanting to live life a certain way. And turned it into reality. You know, our first expectation was just getting out together. With all respect to everybody that ever did this shit, none of them have done more than me. I sold over a billion records, 300 billion streams, and I done did over 575 million on iTunes. I want to be able to set the bar so high in this shit that maybe the nigga who can touch it, he not even on his planet yet.